a little shorter this morning this i'm so sad to say because i've already had several big rants this morning in my own inimitable way it's a test of my sobriety that i can say the word inimitable please welcome the inimitable joanne callan how are you i'm good thanks ron how are you and why i'm great i'm as, as Tommy Patton once said in Belfast City Council, I'm over the mountain with happiness. Good, that was good. the same day he wanted to use only the best of paint to do the City Hall, and he was insisting on having a uh, Durex. He said. And he was also going to... He was also going to... <laughs> I think he, we might have used the wrong name there, Rob. But, <laughs> but that's what he did. I'm oh, quoting him. Did, okay. I'm quoting Tommy Patton. The <laughs> same day Tommy Patton wanted in the City Hall. He said, they were all going to Venice to, to, to look at gondolas. And they were going to do, uh, gondolas. I, 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 I remember the day he was doing a program and he was home in a taxi and uh, home with, with, with Oliver Napier of the Alliance Party. And Oliver was taking him home and, uh, along, and he was... And this car stopped in wherever he was living in East Belfast. And she looked down, the wife looked down and saw him. Tommy, what are you doing there? Get you in. Who, is that that papist boy? Is that the pair? <laughs> this went on. But the other thing, the, the, the council was going to Venice to get some, to do an investigation on gondolas. And they were going to buy a dozen of them. Tommy said, Mr. Chairman, I'm the chairman here of this committee and I want to say this, that we shan't be doing that. It's a waste of ratepayers' money. We should go and at most get two pairs of them and let them breed in the lagging. That would be it. Save a lot of money. That's what he was saying. It's true. He was a great character, a wonderful character. What are we talking about this morning? Uh, well, today's show is bioenergy therapy. What? So, bioenergy therapy. You're the one. You're the queer one can get them, I tell you. What is bioenergy therapy? Uh, I suppose it's, a, it's another form of energy healing. And when we're talking about holistic therapies, we're working on all levels in the body so the energetic field as well as the physical body and the emotional body as well. Do you know that you could be talking to me in saying that about uh, healing bowls or you could be talking to me about laughter yoga I think it's all the same thing you yeah. just blah 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 they're blah. All, they're all versions of bringing health and well-being yeah. in and people will resonate with different parts yeah. of that story depending on what they resonate mean. shall we one two three, two, three. Um, um, uh, Resonation. Resonate. Resonate. Oh, Res resonation. Resonance. That was nice resonance. resonance. Yeah. So that's happening today resonance. and it's uh who's doing this? It's a lady called Bernie Doyle. Um, Where's she from? She's from Camla. Um, well why wouldn't she be? Why wouldn't she be? The pub yeah, in the, the corner. Best people are. The pub in the corner for years. Yeah, yeah, Doyle's pub right. in Camla. Yeah. yeah. They, they they quenched your thirst and they buried you. Yeah, although they did all of that. She's actually married to uh, Louis Doyle from Omeath. So it's, it's the Omeath Doyles, but they're living in Camel. It's very important to broaden the gene pool. Yes. I think it's indeed. good to do that thing. It's good to mix it yeah. Up. yeah. How yeah. was Lisburn? Why did you go to Lisburn? To the cinema? Lisburn to the cinema. No, I wasn't at the cinema. I was at the Peace Proms. What's the Belfast. Peace Proms? And um, my niece was singing. Peace Proms? Yeah. That's about, yeah. It's the Cross Border Orchestra yeah. of Ireland. Wonderful. I did a nationwide on them. They were great. Really, really, really good. And then. They did it last year as well, and I, th I think they do it in different areas, but they basically bring together a lot of the schools as a choir. Yeah. And my niece was singing with them, so... Are you ready? Be... One, two, and you must sing with me. Oh, well, that One, might two, be three. very good. One, two, three. Okay. Someone's laughing, Lord, come by, ah. Uh. <laughs> Someone's laughing, Lord, come by, ah. Uh. Someone's laughing, Lord, come by, ah. Uh. Oh Lord, come by ah, uh, someone's cry. I won't go on for too long. That's someone's okay. crying, going. Lord, come by ah, uh, someone's crying, Lord, come by ah, uh, someone's crying, Lord, come by. You're not singing. No, I, I think that would be way too much for your audience to cope with at this time. <laughs> You're a lovely singer. Any woman can it, resonate like you can yeah, is a well, wonderful singer. I'm not so well, sure. I, doubt. I don't know. I yeah. think in my head I am, but I'm not sure other people agree. I yeah. haven't got anybody's vote of confidence just no. yet. So. I sing beautifully when my ears are under the bath water. 
and my candles are burning. I sing beautifully all the time in my head, but not yeah, in anybody I know, else's. I know. I'm convinced I must be that tone deaf that I can't even hear no, how bad not. I am of a singer. No, you're grand. So, so this is at three o'clock today. Three o'clock today, yes. Yeah. We have five more minutes to talk before we let oh, Sean Rogers in there. Before we let anybody else in. Well, yeah. you posed the question this morning on social media, on Facebook. I love the way you said, on which, social media. Which I guess is I how you knew that I was on the social media in, this morning. Um, which is, I guess, how you knew I was on, I was in Lisbon on Sunday. Yeah. Um, but you went for, but, you had a meal as yes, well. Yes, we had a meal. Um, I know everything about yeah, it. Yeah. I tell you, Because I tell, put the information you out there. You can do but, nothing, I tell um, you. I ha honestly, I have to say, the service that we received on Sunday evening and, and consistently because I would it's a good sort of place to stop off you get out of Belfast yeah. and get in um was just really really second to none and it, uh, was that your first your second or your third meal of the day that was my second meal of the day so, and then you had a meal when you went home no 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 just just that was the second meal I had ah, breakfast well. and then um what did you quite have a big breakfast? breakfast I had porridge and berries and agave syrup and a whole oh. mix of stuff for breakfast, a banana, some fruit. That's and good, that's so good. So a good breakfast and then we had that as, a, as yeah. an evening meal. Um, People tell me that I should eat during the day, but do you know the reason I don't eat during the day? I don't feel like eating during the day. That's My good. breakfast is two Weetabix, a banana and the Lord's Prayer. I really blew them out of it at the Alpha course last yeah, Thursday when I, I told them that. They're all talking about prayer and the Bible and Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Bless the bed that I lie on and all the rest of it, you know. <laughs> and I said, well, look, well, it's very, very simple. There's only one prayer you need. And you do it at breakfast time. And your body needs two Weetabix and a banana. And your spirituality needs the Lord's Prayer as you eat your Weetabix. You know, it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all, all good. good. And that was do you the, believe in God? You? Yeah. Yeah. In what form? Is I'm not hundred percent sure, but is, is it possible she's a woman? You would have is to it think that. Possible that well, I don't know that I connect even with the, the female mm. I do connect, I suppose, with the female side of it, but I just think it's just I I probably connect more with the idea of God as the Holy Spirit than yeah. I do as God the Father or or And as or I God asked the, the Alpha thing. people and they couldn't answer it, is he is he the Holy Spirit of all the universes, or just ours? Right. Yeah. They didn't know. They yeah. didn't know. Who knows? Yeah. I think there's some things we have to accept that we won't know and that we'll never doesn't know. Sound doesn't sound like a Camla woman to me. Yeah. Well, we have to be open to that. But um, yeah. yes, the question that you posed me this morning um, around yeah. holistic, uh, the holistic, the word holistic rather H O L rather than W H O L. I would have thought W H O L as in whole entirety. Yeah. Well, that and then that is, I mean, you're a holistic therapist is treating, as I say, body, mind, and, and spirit really, and they're yeah. connected. But also not just looking at an individual part of the body; it's looking at what's mm. going on for the person on all levels and how we're connected, not just to ourselves, but to yeah. our environment around us and how that impacts and affects us. So, so it's um, ancient Greece then, it's Greece. It's a Greek word. Which uh, I, I speak holistic. fluently. Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm ass. I'm at, I'm amas, I'm at as a man. I'm a bow, I'm a this, <laughs> I'm a bit. Yeah. Well, you're better Greek than I have then. Oh so. yeah, look yeah. at him laughing at us. He's terrible, look at him. <laughs> I was Latin, by the way. I used to be an altar boy. And you know something, I was never, ever, ever, in the entirety of my life, in all of that happened, I was never once abused. I think it's terrible. I mustn't have been suitable. I was dismissed. I was gone. Send away. Go away. Go away. But it, I, I used to, uh, the, the opening of the Mass, I remember it was, A deum tili fi, a deum quiliti fi cat juventutameam, something like that. But that, then I ran away from school and that was the end of it. End of I went over the wall and went into Haldin Shields' timber yard. <laughs> and I worked there for a winter as a, as a, as a labourer. It was and great no, crack. No more, uh, no more Latin masses. No more Latin morning. masses, no more anything. I, but lots of fun. Yeah. And I was earning money. Yeah. And I could buy, I bought in, in Littlewood's club book, I bought a winter coat and that was great. And Talking about coats. Yes, I was just going to say. Will, will we get coats for the homeless in Dublin? Yes, I should have some for you yeah. either this afternoon or tomorrow. Will you seriously? Can, because yes, I'll bring do them down some. on Saturday. Yes, I've I got one some. suitcase full already and I've got the second one filling. Perfect. And then I tie coats onto the, you know when the thing pulls up yes. and the wheels are on it. Yeah. And when the thing pulls up, I put a bundle of coats on that and tie it down with cable ties. And then it stays. And then I have two of those going and then I wear two coats maybe three if I have more to take, 
And they, these are all gone by lunchtime yeah. on Saturday, yeah, you know. No, I'll have a few because, I mean, I, I, and I caught the bit that you were saying about Belfast City Council, and I suppose, again, that takes us back to the holistic, that it's not just me, there's a we. There's a we. Um, there is a we. The, whilst the weather has been horrific, the wind and the rain and mm -hmm. everything like that has been really difficult for most of us, and we're all getting a bit fed up and sick of it now at this stage, but um, to be soaked through yeah. night after night. Tell you a story, and it's a true story, horrific. and it's apropos our coats for Dublin. Last Saturday, I was pouring coffee at the table, and the line of folk were there, going out through the door, coming through. They get their, pick up their dinner, first of all, their lunch, and it's a proper cooked meal. Brother Kevin makes that happen. And they were coming through, and then they'd come to me, and I, I'm the tea guy, I'm t and the coffee guy. And my head's down, and I look up, I said, tea or coffee, sir? And you don't call him sir. Well, what do you call me sir for? I'm not a sir. I said, you're a sir to me. You know, tea or coffee? You pour, you pour. And he's there standing, he's about 65, and he's a big man, bent at the waist, over like that. And his eyes were fixed to the table, wasn't looking at me. And he was saying, tea please. And then he said, would you have a jumper? And I said, well, I, I wouldn't have, I, I don't think we have jumpers. There's coats in there. He says, no, I want a jumper. He says, I was out all night last night. It was wet and it was cold. And this man's wearing a shirt, two jumpers already that are soaking mm -hmm. and bent at the middle, not able to look up. And I have an old, I have more jumpers around my house than the Queen has soldiers, or the Pope has Swiss guards, you know, more of them, Most they're all of there. Us, we all and do. I'm standing there with that, and I'm pouring, I said, well, what about, what about this jumper? Would you wear it? Because I thought it might have been nice enough for him, but he says, oh, would, 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 and he's still looking down, would, 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 would. I said, okay, hold on there a minute, went around the corner, whipped it off, and gave it to him. And in the twinkling of an eye, he had it on. And at this stage, the man now had three jumpers on his shirt, and was still drying out. And I hope the people in Belfast are listening to this, because you have it in Belfast too. Yeah, and that's and then difference. he said, he said, what about the coat? Yeah. Went in, he got the coat, one of our coats. Yeah. Brilliant. And Ben there, who, who stands there, Ben's a wee Dublin man, wee tough Dublin man, who keeps order in the place, because anger is just whittling onto the surface. Ben says, uh, ben, Ben's there looking out, and he makes sure everything's okay. And uh, he says, Rowan, I was, I was a Ben, the coat's all right, are they okay? He says, Rowan, they're gone, they're gone. So please, if you know of anybody, yeah, no, I do have put the word out. I can take them. as many down as you want. Yeah. So, Sean Rogers is coming. Sean Rogers is There he is. Going. There he is. I see Trigger. He's tying Trigger up at the door outside. No, that was Roy Rogers. I'm, Jesus, I keep. <laughs> I, I'm, I have a problem. I can't get. That's the old way. Play some music, sir, and we'll have Sean Rogers.
coming. Well, she, we're going to talk about that too. Well, I'll you know, touch on, we've got a great ladder. I'll tell you about the ladder that we got uh, from his bra. He's dead now, so it would relate to the, the mines. Right. And um, the mining strike, sorry, on the Arthur Scargill's day. Freaking hell. Amazing. And the 80s miners' strike.